hey Riley you guys were down to 10 forwards and obviously it goes all the way to overtime in a shootout um I guess just how exhausting was that for you guys to kind of grind all the way through that game yeah it's uh it's not ideal to have to start that way um I think it changes the way we play um you know I think Minnesota is a good transition team and um we kind of got turned into playing their style of game today um being with the circumstance so uh, you know, we got one point, we would have loved to, but it is what it is. We just have to, to move on. It was a tough back to back. Next question tonight goes to Brian Blessing, Vegas Hockey Hotline. Hey, Braden. I mean, the game featured everything. Pretty spirited effort. Back-to-back -back nights for them. They had to travel. Back-to-back -back nights for you. You're shorthanded. Um, pretty intense game. Are you sensing game 35 of the season? Are you sensing you've reached a point of the season where the intensity levels are really starting to ratchet up? Yeah, for sure. They're they're just under us, and, and you know they're all division games this year. So uh, as games go on, you get closer to that, the pace is going to ramp up, and the intensity is going to ramp up. Next, we'll go to David Chain, Las Vegas Review Journal. Hi, Braden Riley said it, but all things considered, is that a point that you can walk away with, okay, or is there disappointment after a loss like that? Oh. It's Disappointing for sure. You want you want two points. We had chances. Um, you know the goalie played well. Um, you know it was back to back. They travel, so I mean it, it's tough one to swallow. You always want to get the two points, but big that we got one, and you know we get them again Saturday. Go to Jesse Granger from the Athletic. Hey Riley, you mentioned uh, you thought you played their style a little too much. Can you expand on that? Maybe what do you, what you thought made it more suitable to their style and what you guys need to do. They're a good transition team, and I think we were just trading chances for pretty much the majority of the game, definitely the second and third period. Um, you know, we had our chances. They had theirs. Um, I think when we're playing our best, we're playing five-on-five five hockey, and we're, we're a little stingier on giving those rush chances. So, um, you know, something that we can look to, to build on and get better for next game. Take a couple more tonight with Braden and Riley. Next question goes to Chris Chapman, Fox Sports Las Vegas. Yeah, hey, Braden. The physical level of that game really seemed to pick up middle of the second period on. Obviously, in overtime, they, they have the penalty where their guy takes out Leonard. Do you kind of foresee that carrying over onto Saturday night's game? Uh, well, they're, yeah, they're a big, big, heavy team. They play physical. It's, it's an intense game. Uh, uh, I thought we did a good job of handling it. You know, they got some, you know, good skilled players that we want to be hard on, take away time and space. And we do that, you know, it limits, limits chances against. So it's something we want to key on for sure. Final question for Braden McNabb and Riley Smith. We'll go back to David Shane, Las Vegas Review Journal. Hi, Braden. I know it comes in a loss, but you had scored a goal. It had been a while. Just nice to see one finally go in. And can you kind of take us through that goal a little bit? Yeah, it took long enough for sure. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know who passed him. Maybe Will. Uh, I just wanted to settle it down and get it on net. It went in. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Ben. Hi, Pete. Just how often in your career have you had 10 forwards on the bench, and how do you think the group handled that tonight? Uh, it's happened before. Um, I thought we handled it well. It really was a non-issue. Um, you know, it... it from a coaching perspective, guys are always looking for a few more minutes every night. So uh, it was ni nice not to have that as an issue. And, um, you know, that's the reality of the salary cap world. You get injuries, suspensions, you know, all the, all the teams that are up against the cap. You look around the league, a lot of them, uh, you know, have nights where they've got to dress a guy, guy or two short. So uh, what wasn't an issue tonight. I thought we got a great effort and, uh, you know, just unfortunate we didn't get two points. Next question tonight goes to Justin Emerson, Las Vegas Sun. Pete, last night and tonight are the first time since you've taken over as coach that you guys have lost two home games in a row. Has there been a secret or any sort of key to winning in this building? No, I, I mean, I can tell you, I, I don't remember all the wins, but I can tell you, we probably won a few of those games and didn't play nearly as well as we did tonight. So. You know, that's the NHL. I, I think, 
you know, I, I really liked our effort. I really liked our game. Um, we got contributions from everybody tonight and, uh, you know, the crowd was great. And just, just one of those nights, we just didn't, uh, stick the puck in the net and you have to give their goalie some credit too. He made a couple unbelievable saves. Go to Christopher Chapman, Fox sports, Las Vegas. Yeah. Hi Pete. You, you kind of alluded to it a little bit. Those, those great saves that Talbot made during the second period, obviously Keegan Colasar are on the end of a couple of them. Is there something maybe you say to him to kind of lift his spirits up a little bit or, or do the guys on the bench maybe say something to kind of pick him up a little bit? Yeah, our bench is really good. You know, they, they see the effort and uh, that he gives every night. And, you know, he's been one of the first guys to jump in and defend teammates uh, on the ice. So he's a popular guy in the room. He, he doesn't need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, communication from me after he misses a, a shot like that, he gets a lot of, a lot of feedback from the guys on the bench to keep his head up and stick with it. And we've got a good group that way. Time for a couple more here with Pete DeBoer. Next question for him goes to Brian Blessing, Vegas Hockey Hotline. Brian. Pete, you mentioned the effort from both teams. They had to travel, you were shorthanded. Uh, spirited effort from both teams. In the truncated schedule, you're at the 35 game mark. Are you starting to see things percolate a little more and in the, in the intensity ratchet up? Uh, I, I think there's definitely a desperation creeping in every night because you can see the the season finish line. You know, it's still it's still a little ways out there, but uh, at least it's in sight. And, uh, you know, when that happens, obviously things get ramped up. Uh, as far as uh, intensity because everyone's fighting for position and and you can see that you're starting to, to run out of game. So uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Final question tonight for Pete. We'll go back to Justin Emerson with the Las Vegas Sun. Justin. Hey Pete, you said it was a non-issue with the 10 forwards, but I am curious kind of how that goes on the bench for you. How much coaching goes into, is it rolling three lines and trying to get that 10th forward in there from time to time, or just kind of, I guess, what are the coaching challenges that go into having, being down two forwards? Yeah. Uh, that's what we did tonight. We, we rolled three lines and spotted uh, Colasar, uh, you know, depending if I thought a, a guy had an extended shift and was a little too tired or, or uh, you know, needed a breather. So, and, and I thought Coley, when he got in there with whoever we stuck him in with, uh, did a good job creating some energy. Pete, thanks for doing this. That'll conclude tonight's media availability.